Greetings to my brothers and sisters of the Monk Do Church family, including the rest of you who are scattered all over this globe. I take this opportunity to greet you via this medium, for though we cannot physically touch each other, we cannot meet and greet one another, surely we can stay in touch. <laughs> we must therefore be grateful to the God who makes provision before we have a need, for oh how we need technology in a time like today. Understandably, some of you must be experiencing a more torrid time than the rest of us. Those of you who were unemployed or became unemployed as a result of this, those of you who are self-employed, self or those of you who are daily paid, I'm sure the economic challenges are upon you. I want to assure you that we are all going through the same crisis, and some of us are going to be affected one way or another, sooner or later, directly or indirectly. But of course, you might be experiencing it ahead of time. Please feel free to let us know how you are coping, how you are making it, and maybe you may feel overwhelmed by all that is transpiring. You can still drop us a line. Speaking of which, we want the entire church family to continue praying during this crisis, and we want to set aside a special half hour every week for the entire church family to be at prayer. Most of us, if not all of us, would be home. And so perhaps every Wednesday during our prayer service hour, we would ask you to set aside the time 6.29 to 6.59 because I'm sure a number of you would want to look at the news to get your updates. So the, between 6.29 and 6.59, every Wednesday, we want the entire church to be at prayer. Maybe you will not be able to spend the entire period, but some part during that, please remember to pray. And if you are driving by any chance, watch and pray, if you know what I mean. But if you can't do that, just pull aside, stop, and pray, because we want to continue to lift up God during this time. Perhaps you may have a prayer request you want us to make known to the Father above. Feel free to contact any of the elders or contact somebody who could contact the elders. Some of you may already have a direct have direct access to my phone. You can do that and we will only be too glad to make mention of your name during this period. I would want to share it with the rest of the church family as we make this half hour our IPU segment, our intensive prayer united, for we still must remain united in the midst of this crisis because we know that Jesus has already overcome the world. Our task is to prove and to give evidence of what he has done. Before I leave you, I would want to share with you a passage of scripture found in the book of Hebrews chapter 13. I'm reading from verse 12 to 14, which says, Wherefore, Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered without the gate, that is, outside the gate. Let us therefore, or let us go forth therefore unto him without the camp, outside the camp, bearing his reproach. For here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. It has not yet arrived, but it is coming. Thankfully, this is not our final resting place. We seek a city yet to come. But what do we do in the meantime? The apostle was careful to remind us that Jesus suffered outside the gate. He was stripped naked outside of the gate, outside of Jerusalem. What a shameful experience it must have been. And yet, it was providential. For Jesus came not to save those only who are in the gate or within the gate, but he came to save everyone, including those outside the gate. And he continues to exhort us, that is the apostle, that we too must go on to Jesus because Jesus wants to save somebody who does not come to church, somebody who has never entered into the temple. And now he has an opportune time by our staying outside of the gate to 
be a witness wherever we are. You can come to church. The church doors are locked. Keep your heart open. Keep your light burning. Let the enemy know that even if we cannot commune as a family within four walls, God is too big to be confined to four walls. He can also be a witness outside the gate. Let your light shine. Bear his reproach in the meantime. Bear the pain. Go through difficult times knowing that God will be vindicated once we remain faithful even while we are outside the gate of the church. Be faithful until I see you next time.